Whoa, John, wait. What do you mean we don't win? Are you sure about that? Hey everybody, welcome back to the Smart Christian Channel. This is Corey Miner. And as always, if you haven't done so already, or if this is your first time, please remember to do a couple things. One, hit the subscribe button. Also, please hit the bell notification. That way you'll be notified of any videos in the future. But also, please hit the like button, as well as any comments or suggestions, whether you disagree or not. John MacArthur makes a statement in one of his recent sermons, and I don't know if many people caught it, and if so, would it be something that they would believe or disagree with or understand it or really accept it? Yeah, our nation is going the way of Satan, but what else would it do? We don't win down here. We lose. You ready for that? Oh, you were a post-millennialist. You thought we are just going to go waltzing into the kingdom as you took over the world. No. We lose here. Get it. They killed Jesus. They killed all the apostles. We're all going to be persecuted. If any man come after me, let him, what, deny himself. We don't win down here. Are you ready for that? Just to clear the air, I love this clarity. We don't win. We lose on this battlefield, but we win on the big one. So what do you think about that? Is what he said true? Well, absolutely is true. One of the things that we do oftentimes as Christians that we really ought not do, and that is to waste our prayers. Well. How do you waste your prayers, Corey? That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't sound right, does it? Well, you waste your prayers by praying something that, one, isn't going to happen, and two, is counter to what God is doing. Is God making this world better? Or is God getting ready for the destruction of this world and something new to take its place? Well, the latter is the answer. And so when we pray for things like world peace and for uh, unity, that's not going to happen as much as we would like it, as much as it would have been preferable. It's just not going to happen because whose world is this? Right now it's under the hand and control of Satan. Obviously God has ultimate control, but God is going to have to do something. Remember when he told Adam, the day you eat this, you shall surely die. Well, not only did Adam start the process of him dying, but the world was cursed as well. Animals would eventually die. Plant life would grow and then die. There would be earthquakes and famine and all these different things as a result of sin. Well, God's not going to let that stand. God is going to do something about that. He is, in the, at, he is at this present moment allowing what he calls the time of the Gentiles, the fullness of the Gentiles to come. And so when that's complete, then you're going to see what's going to happen as he stirs up and brings his tribulation to the nation of Israel to bring them to him. Well, his whole goal, his ultimate plan is to bring things back to the way they ought to be. So we need to understand something. This is not our world. This is not our home. We are aliens, strangers, sojourners. The problem that happens sometimes is we get so comfortable with this world. We get so caught up in the niceties of this world. We get so caught up in watching TV and having our cell phones and things like that. We get caught up in all the daily things of the world and the cares of the world, but none of this belongs to us. That's why I think it's probably better that we don't get too wrapped up into politics. You should care about what's happening with the government, but not so much that you take your focus off of what God is doing. Remember, the Bible tells us that we are in the world, but we're just not of the world. And so we shouldn't be surprised that since this is not ours, we're not going to get victory in it. Ultimately, we'll be victorious in Him, but not right now. So as John MacArthur said, yeah, we're not going to win down here. There are going to be a lot of things going to happen that it's not going to really sit well with us. We're not going to like the way the world is going. You think the world is getting becoming more liberal now, more progressive, more outrageous now. Baby, you ain't seen nothing yet, right? What's going to happen is there's going to be more and more moral decay. 
the love of many shall wax cold, as Christ says. And so you're going to see more things that 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago, 30, 40 years ago, you would never have imagined. I mean, think about it even now. Things are happening now that we never would have thought that would have taken place. And so the comforting thing needs to be that he's coming back. He's coming back to get us. But while we're here now, let's remember this one thing. While this is not our world, while the building's on fire, while we shouldn't try to save the building, let's remember that we can help someone else escape the burning building. Amen? And when that happens, when, it, when it's all said and done, though we lose this round of the fight here on earth, ultimately in the end, we'll be victorious.